The large hailstorm that occurred this Thursday between 1.10 and 1.30 in the morning in the city of Zamora has caused material damage to buildings and vehicles, in addition to causing waterlogging on public roads and power outages in several neighborhoods, according to city sources. has notified F.A. Many people were awakened by the sound of the ice balls and recorded this impressive hailstorm that lasted about half an hour and left some damage. The hailstorm has caused damage, among other public buildings, to the sleeping area of the Zamora Municipal Fire Station and to the glass roof of the Santa Elena Health Center, with no known personal injuries at this time and only material damage. damage has been reported. This also caused leaks in private homes due to hail accumulating on roofs and there were vehicles parked on the road with dents and broken windows. It was a busy night for firefighters, who had to respond to several calls due to the strong storm. This disaster left several buildings damaged, trees and plants destroyed, and several roads collapsed. More than 12 liters per square meter fell between 1.10 and 1.40 a.m. The roof of the Santa Elena Community Health Center collapsed due to heavy hail, flooding the emergency and consultation center in the middle of the night. The City Hall firehouse itself was also affected by flooding because it was unable to cope with the large amount of hail. Zamora Citizen Protection Council member David Gago has indicated to EFE that there have been power outages in areas such as the Siglo 21 urbanization, the Obelisco area, the Los Blocks neighborhood or downtown streets such as Alfonso the 12th Avenue. Among others. Supply has been restored in areas where power cuts were possible due to electrical installations located in basements causing flooding and causing power lines to surge. At the Three Trees Bridge over the Duero River, hail left large puddles of water and the municipal police needed to open registers due to the buildup of water making circulation difficult. Damage also occurred due to fallen branches and the dragging of leaves left on the road and blocking rainwater collection pipes. A hailstorm, with up to 12 liters of rain per square meter, left a white blanket on the city streets at half past one in the morning. There was a power outage in the Los Blocks neighborhood and in some areas of the old city and the flowers that had decorated the city for Holy Week were seriously affected. There were also damaged vehicles and roads that looked like ice rinks. Hail fell across the city and many Zamoran residents were seen leaning out of their balconies or windows in their pajamas, as the storm meant most of them were already asleep. Spring comes in the form of frost in Zamora, due to the Dana that passes through our country and leaves behind a lot of rainfall. This storm, which was an extraordinary event in Zamora that no one had ever experienced before, mainly involved the dragging of vegetation and materials that clogged drains and ditches. Likewise, puddles formed in the Three Tree Bridge area, so Satpal PP officers had to intervene to open manholes and manholes on the bridge so that the water could flow. 
This morning's social networks were abuzz with videos, photos and comments about the large hailstorm that had occurred. It looked like the world was going to collapse, many people said, amid torrential rain that gave the impression that it would break windows, roofs and houses would collapse. It was a busy night for firefighters, who had to respond to several calls due to the strong storm. This disaster left several buildings damaged, trees and plants destroyed, and several roads collapsed. More than 12 liters per square meter fell between 1.10 and 1.40 a.m. The roof of the Santa Elena Community Health Center collapsed due to heavy hail, flooding the emergency and consultation center in the middle of the night. The City Hall firehouse itself was also affected by flooding because it was unable to cope with the large amount of hail. Zamora Citizen Protection Council member David Gago has indicated to EFE that there have been power outages in areas such as the Siglo 21 urbanization, 